Welcome to CTSC Online. CTSC Online is an ongoing series of videos discussing various aspects of cybersecurity with specific application to NSF-funded cyber infrastructure projects. CTSC Online is made possible by funding from NSF. Probably the most important part about incident response is preparing yourself. Incident response is about having all the right systems and services in place. By preparing, you can get the alerts you need and get the needed information when it's important. Preparing allows you to be ready when an incident happens. First, let's talk about some terms. These terms will, while not comprehensive, give us a good start on important words within incident response. Alert. Alerts may come from monitoring systems or from an individual. It's a notice that tells you something's going on and you might want to take a look at things. They're triggered by something unexpected happening and indicate that you should probably take a look at what's going on. Many times, alerts are not caused by incidents, but by other things going on that you need to take a look at. An event is something more than an alert. You can actually see the change in the system. An alert or a number of alerts might make you aware of an event. But whereas an alert indicates something might be going on, with an event, you can actually see that something has happened. Events indicate that you should really spend some time looking into things. A computer security incident is something that has reached another level. It's not just an event or an outage. It is an actual security event. Someone is actually on the system or has done something to the system. Incidents are what this series of videos is about. So we will go into much greater detail in incidents during this series. Information sources are log files, people, alerts, basically anything that provides you the information you're going to use throughout the process of handling the incident. These sources help you with your situational awareness and what you are going to do. Monitoring can be everything from your system administrator who knows what is going on day to day and is familiar with the functioning of the system, to intrusion detection systems you have in place and network analysis tools. It is anything you have that is looking at what is going on with the systems from data flows to internal operations. Investigation is the activity of figuring out what has occurred in enough depth to understand what next steps need to be taken to remedy the situation. The Incident Response Team, or IRT, is the team you put together that will be looking into any incident you might have on your system. Later in these videos, we will go into detail on how to create this team, who should be on it, and what type of skills are needed. NIST SP800-61 is a really excellent resource and can be very helpful when setting up an incident response program. NIST has done an excellent job with laying this document out. NIST breaks incident response up into four distinct areas. Preparation, detection and analysis, containment, eradication, and recovery, and post-incident assessment. The preparation part is all about getting things set up and put in place. During this phase, you begin to identify your information sources and figure out how you will get information from them. Preparation is not so much about preventing incidents as it is about getting your resources put together for dealing with an incident. Detection and analysis is all about knowing when an event is a security incident opposed to just some random activity. During this phase, you take the time to investigate the event and make a determination on how to move forward. During this phase, you will be making use of much of the information and resources you put together during the preparation phase. If the event turns out to be a security incident, you move into the containment, eradication, and recovery phase. This phase is rather self-explanatory. Once you have determined that an incident is going on, you need to decide what you will do to contain it so you can minimize the impact, and then how to remove it so it is no longer a threat. Incident response is all about getting the system back up and running as quickly as possible. The last phase is all about documenting the event and learning from it. Documentation is critical. The goal is to learn from the incidents that occurred within an organization to improve the team's performance and provide reference materials in the event of a similar incident. 
The documentation also allows you to review how well the incident response plan works and to make improvements. This life cycle is also a good indicator of how advanced your incident response handling is. It used to be here at NCSA that the majority of time was spent in the detection, analysis, containment, eradication, and recovery phases of the cycle. We've really turned the corner on that, and now we spend the majority of our time on the preparation side. While we still have a very good team, the expertise is no longer in the two middle sections of the life cycle. Now we have a team that is very skilled in the preparation and planning. This is very much a success story. We now have fewer incidents, and the ones that do occur are identified and dealt with much more quickly. It doesn't seem like we have near the struggles or firefights that we used to have. If you would like more help with building a security system, please contact CTSC. You can get contact and other information on the CTSC website, trustedci.org. CTSC Online is made possible by funding from NSF, grant number OCI, 1234408.